Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. Um, we're going to be continuing to colour in, excuse me, I'll just get the tripod ready, uh, this book which is uh, Springtime by Deborah Muller. <laughs> I just put the memory card in and it, it sprung out and flew across the room. I've never done that before, it's quite funny actually. Yeah, anyway, since <laughs> how are you all? Uh, just a quick disclaimer, this is an adult channel, we discuss adult topics. Um, the videos here are not made for or intended to be seen by children. Sorry, it's made me laugh. Um, I've got a glass of wine because it's gone 10 o'clock at night. Mmm. Hardy's rosé, very nice. And I thought we'd just <laughs> carry on uh, with this picture. So I wanted to start... I'll just take my watch off because it's making my arm itch. Um... A picture in uh, Imagimorphia by Kirby Roseanne, so I've decided to take the plunge and I've found a picture I want to do. And I was going to start that by doing the background, because I want to use the Neo Colours um, for the background. And I've just run out of time. So we're going to crack on, we're going to be doing the bottom bit first, we're going to be doing grass green at the bottom here. And uh, yeah, kind of run out of time for that tonight, so it's going to have to be tomorrow I think. Because I've still got a few things to do before I go to bed and it's getting on. Um, I've got to list a few things on eBay. So, I'll tell you all about that in a minute. So, first of all, hello everybody, how are you? I hope you're bearing up well, colouring lots, reading lots, doing whatever it is um, to keep you sane during these trying times. I'd like to say hello to all my new subscribers, wherever you are in the world, and all my old ones, of course, welcome back. Um, I appreciate every single one of you. If you want to leave me a comment down below, I do appreciate it. If you have a colouring channel and you post colouring videos, please let me know and I will happily go and follow you because I'm always looking for more people to follow and more tutorials. Um, there are a few I'm going to, I have uh, marked that I need to watch for various reasons. Um, but this is just one for relaxing. Uh, Yes, I hope you're all well and, and enjoying, I don't know what the weather's like where you are, but here in the UK it's been pretty lovely the last two days. It rained Friday and Saturday. Last week was lovely apart from Friday and Saturday when it rained. Sunday was lovely. And this week is supposed to be really gorgeous up until the weekend where it's apparently going to get a bit wet again. So that's okay, I can live with that. So I spent uh, part of the afternoon outside with Jennifer playing on her slide, playing with the, the gravel. She likes playing with the gravel. I'm just playing with some water. There's some toys in my eBay shed for her. So when I'm in there pulling orders, she's not trying to pull the boxes down and killing herself. She can just um, play with those little toys. She didn't want to come out today. I had to move the table so I could keep an eye on her. Um, yeah, the weather is absolutely lovely at the moment. So at least we can get out in the sun. I've, even I've caught the sun a bit and I never catch the sun. I just usually go white and then pink and then back to white. But even I can see I've got a bit of colour because I can see the band where my watch strap's been. I don't normally let the sun get on my skin too much because even with suntan lotion, it'll I'll get sun a heat rash and it itches. It's itching a little bit at the moment. My left arm because I'm usually colouring out there. So I've been colouring north in the colouring heaven book and the background is really faint so I'm wondering should I just leave it blank or should I just colour it in very very lightly I haven't quite decided yet so that's why I'm going to start uh, Imagine Morphia I'm just going to take a couple of days off and then maybe I'll just do a little bit at a time on the background on the morph one because it's he's nice and he's bright and you know the bits in the front are bright but there's stuff behind it's not got as black lines, so it's very faint. So I'm thinking, shall I just leave it white or shall I? I don't really want to. I want to colour it in, but I'm thinking it's going to take forever. So what I might do is carry on colouring that tomorrow. Just to... Uh, and just do a little bit of the background. 
And then maybe take um, a mandala book out into the garden. Because I do get interrupted by Jennifer a lot. So, which is fine, it's understandable. She's, she's a child, she wants attention. And we have so much fun together out there. So for those of you who like um, the weekly vlogs, I am making one this week. I don't do one every week because especially at the moment it's all very much the same. So, but I am making one. I did go out for a walk this afternoon, just up to the canal, just to stretch my legs because I've hardly had any exercise in the last month and it's not doing me any good. It's making me depressed, being stuck in all the time. So, I thought I've, I've got to get out. I have got to get out and, and have get some sunshine, get some exercise and it was very nice and we saw some baby ducks. So again, some of that's in the vlog. But uh, yeah. So I've got to be honest, I haven't watched any Doctor Who lately. I don't think I've watched anything since before the weekend. But I do just keep ordering colouring books. I'm very, very naughty. Because I've got two more that should come this month. One's a Jade Summer book. And one's, I think, it's Phantom Morphia by Kobe Rosanis. I'm trying to get all of his books in, but most of them are out of stock. So I managed to find one of them in stock. And that's supposed to be coming Friday. And the other one I had to order from an American seller. I don't know. And the new one is out of stock as well, but it was on Amazon. But it, it was in stock on W. H. Smith. So I've ordered it from there. So I'm just waiting for confirmation of dispatch from W. H. Smith for that one. And then I'll have all of Kirby Rosanne's book, apart from Doodle Invasion, which I probably could try and catch up on at some point. But I do find his books really intimidating. I'm not going to lie. They are so busy, but I'm like I said, I'm going to do the background first, so I've got that chunk out of the way. I'm going to use my polychromos in the book. I'm going to try those, see how they go. I've just put them into a pencil case, so you'll see that case in the haul at the end of the month. So there will be a haul, probably about 10 books, and the pencil case will be about it. But And then... Um, after that... Um, yeah, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, I will try and get Doodle Invasion at some point, but uh, oh, Colour Morphia is just some of the best ones from the first three books, and uh, so I will probably won't bother with that. But yeah, and the new Cohen Heaven collection is coming out soon. I can't remember what it was. They did post it on their page. Let me just have a look and see what it was. It won't be a sec. Oh, it's warm in here. Colour in Heaven. Let's have a quick look. So, because the last one was the Ardman one. Oh, it's Australia. So, yeah, it's Australia. So, obviously there's no flip through yet. So, it's going to be all Australian animals and things like that. With um, some of the money going towards the uh, disaster. So they do that every now and, now and again. With I've got, I've got the sun on my ear in this edition. So yes, it's Australia. So I might get that. I haven't quite decided yet. I'll have to have a look. Because it's not that I object to supporting the charity. I'm all for that. But I mean, it's going to be lots of animals. And I'm not very good at colouring animals. You know. But then that's why I should get it, possibly. You know? So I'll, um, I'll probably get that. Quite happy to order that from them. I just have got so many colouring books. I mean, I haven't even started Fantasy Princesses because I'm going to use that one for my um, Black Widows video. But I really want, and I, haven't, I keep forgetting, I wanted to show some examples of some of the colourings I've done with Black Widows. 
I'm going to keep forgetting to go and get the Come in Heaven Halloween book, which is the one I'm going to use because I've done loads in that one, and the A.M. Shah one. Although you've seen them in my completed pages for October. It shows you what I've, I've done with the um, Widows, so. I really want to go and get that. So I must try and remember to pick it up tomorrow so I can really start that video tomorrow night. Which will be quite good really because I'll have an, be having a, I won't be doing a, a colour and chat video. You'll get, this will be going up tomorrow which is um, Tuesday. I'm filming this Monday night. So Monday night you will have had, if I can remember to put one up, a flip through of the book, some book or other. Um, and then Tomorrow you'll have this colour in chat. And then obviously on Wednesday, no, yeah. Tuesday I can start filming, so I'm gonna have to turn the page to, to get into the, where the crease is. Um, Wednesday you'll have another a flip through, because I've got quite a few flip throughs that I can put up that I haven't done yet. So you'll have another flip through. And then, I've just realised I haven't got my screen out so I can't see what's going on. I, I can, but it's a bit awkward. So when I'm not filming colouring chats, I can be filming part of that. I mean, you, I, the way I do it is I film a good part of the video in one go. So the introduction, show you the pencils, tell you a bit about them. And so on. Then I'll show you some of what I've done with them. And then after I've done that, I'll, um, there we go, uh, just show you the, um, oh, what's it called? I can't think. Um, two different books that we can colour in. Uh, one will be a Jade Summer book because the paper's totally different. One will be a Colour in Heaven book. And I won't do much in the Jade Summer book because it's just for an example. But then I will do a full page in Fantasy Princesses and I will start it. I'll do a fair bit of it. I'll show you some of the different colours, um, skin tones. How they layer and blend. And then I'll stop the video once I've done that bit. I'll go off and finish off the majority of the picture and then I'll come back and finish it off on camera with what I think of them. Just because otherwise if I coloured the whole picture on camera it would be like three hours long if not longer. So it'll still probably be 40 or 50 minutes long. And once I've done it with those I will do it with the Marco Refines or Refines however you want to pronounce it. I call them Refines because I do like those and I'll do it the same way and after that I'll do it with the Faber-Castell classics which are I think they're 48 for £14.50 and they're very nice pencils coloured one of my favourite pictures with those so they are good there we are, that's that bit done so. I think I'll do these little flowers purpley colour, a purple lilac-y colour uh, maybe that one which is a Dahlia purple nice And then as I get some more cheaper brands, I'll use, I'll show you what I think of those as well. Like I've got the feelers, but I don't think you can get them anymore. They're certainly not on Amazon UK. I'll have a look to see if they're still on Amazon US and then I will do, if they are, I'll do a one on those because they were fairly reasonably priced as well. They were about 20 quid, I think. They weren't very much for 150 pencils, I think. So, yeah, I enjoy making those kind of videos. I'm not the best colourist and I'm, I'm not very good at tutorials because I'm still learning um, and we all 
do things differently. So I'll follow, a, I'll watch a tutorial on say skin tones and I'll adapt it to how I want to do it because I've seen a lot of skin tone tutorials are very long because they they layer and they layer and they layer and they blend and they layer and they layer and I haven't got the patience to do that I'm not gonna be honest I'm one of those people who just wants to crack on and it's not about doing how many I can do it's just I know that I'll get bored it's like with this morph picture I love the picture I think it's fantastic I love the colors I've chosen I love the way his box looks I love the way his um he looks but I'm looking at that background thinking I really don't want to do this now, I've had enough. Because the desk took for ages to colour in. Because it's so big. And it's because I'm constantly working on one page. Whereas with this one, because we're doing this on camera, I'll stop doing this, I'll put it away and I'll do something else. Come back to this on camera. So this one now, I mean, obviously after tonight there won't be much left, so I'll probably finish it off camera and show it to you at the end. It'll probably just be the sky and the clouds and maybe the, the border, which I can do tomorrow. Um, but the majority of it we've done together. Just because I don't want to be on it for three hours tonight. I can't see it taking three hours, but do you know what I mean? We've done 16 minutes already and all we've done is the grass and this. Mind you, I did waffle for a bit at the start. So Jennifer's favourite programme now is, she's got two, Waffle, One Dog and Peter Rabbit. She goes Peter Rabbit, she goes more Peter, more Peter. Which is so sweet. You can hear the washing machine in the background. I've got the door closed, so you probably can't, but if you can, I'm doing the washing now so I can put it out on the line before I start work tomorrow, because it's gonna be hot tomorrow. So, the way I look at it, because we're home, we're using a lot more electric, because we're both working from home, so we've both got laptops plugged in. Um, we got the TV on for Jennifer. It's off when, when she's still in bed, and I don't get her up when I get up. And I get her up later than I would if she was going to nursery. But I don't, you know, I'm, I leave her in bed as long as I can. Um, but there's that's on as well. So we're using up a lot more electric. But so where I can save money, I am going to. So <coughs> basically, the rule is um, every morning or every day, people have got to bring their washing down. Well, me and Paul put it straight in the machine. I gotta be honest, I don't separate my wipes. I don't separate my eyes at all and I never get any run. Everything will run now. Um, but then I don't do hot washes, I don't do 60 degrees, so it's all 30 or 40. And um, yeah, so I, uh, where I can save a few pounds drying and washing on the line. Cost me what, 10, 20 minutes of my time hanging it out and getting it back in. I'm gonna do that. Quite, I quite enjoy being out there in the morning when it's still cool before it gets too hot. Nice little breeze blowing if there is one. And just let in. You know, feeling the chill in the air. It's lovely first thing in the morning. I love it, it's great. Okay, it's really sad, but there's something really nice and satisfying about washing on the line, just blowing in the breeze. And, and it smells so fresh. And I've dressed Jennifer in a clean pair of pyjamas off the line. It smells so nice and fresh that I'm just, oh, that's beautiful, that is. It's such a lovely smell. Two ducks, he hasn't got anything. I'll just do their bills the same colour because I can. <laughs> I sort of don't know what colour to do my ducks. I'm gonna give her a bit of an orange boot bottom because I don't know if boots yellow. 
but I didn't do the bottoms of her boots, so we're just doing a slightly darker colour. Like so, that's nice. Then we'll add this yellow here, which is what I think I did her boots and coat in, but I'm not sure. And we'll just do the flowers now. I like this one. I've done quite a few pictures. I think this is probably about 15 or 16. I'm not sure. I'd have to check. Let me just have a look. Right, so I've got 14 completed pictures this month so far. This one... Did I say 15? Will be 60. Was it? Hang on, I've got already. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14. This will be 15. Morph will be 16. I've got a mandala on a go, will be 17. I'm probably going to hit 20 odd pictures this month. It's having all this time because when I'm in the garden with Jen, I just sit in colour and I just let her play and you know I'm I'm not a helicopter parent I let her fall you know she's got to learn and uh, you know falling on all the grass it's got you know she come she came off the sides she slid down the sides very 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 slight slide and she ended up on her hands and she's like oh I said come here mommy let me have a look she came over and she's got dirt on her hands wipe it off she was fine off she went You can't baby them too much. They've got to, she's got to, um, she's got to learn. She's got to be, able to pick herself up and carry on. And to be fair, she, she, she does. I've always got an eye on her. So I'll sit and I'll colour and I'll, I, I'm not like out of, colour, out of the corner of my eye I'm watching what she's doing and if I think she's getting a bit too close to something or she looks like she's going to do something like that, Jennifer be careful or come away from that like this, this afternoon she was playing with the toys in the shed and I moved the table so I could see her um, but just let her go on with it. And then she moved out of my line of vision. And I was like, Jennifer, come back into my line. Come back here, please. I can't see. Come back so I can see you. And she came straight back, sat back down where she was and carried on playing. It's just that it was quite hot outside. And although it's warm in the shed, it's obviously it's shaded. It's out of the sun. So she just wanted a bit, bit of, um, bit out of the sun, she did. And, and that's what she did. I'm going to give him a green belly and a blue collar. And then you can have a red, a little pink heart on his face because they're cute. So that's why I'm getting so much done is because obviously, and I've not been doing a lot of eBay. I'm selling stuff. I've put on a sale to, to try and get some more sales in and they are coming in. And like I said, I've got some stuff I'm going to be listing. But I haven't really been listing a lot of stuff because although I've got a load of cameras, I need to test them and I'm not in the mood and sometimes it's just a question of putting a battery in it really simply is um, and I'm just being lazy I've got to be honest so I'm going to have to I've got a bit still got a bit of clothing upstairs not a lot but I'm gonna crack on with that and then I will when that's run out I'll uh, yeah put all the um I'll go through the cameras but like I said, I've got 100 free listings to use now, so I really want to use up the entire 100 if I can this week. So, as I said, my priority now is to get those games and the PlayStation app that works. Um, so if I can get the games and the PlayStation app. And then... Ooh, what colour? What colour? I think... Um, 
get that up and then get up the, the games. Some of the games will be, I'll probably list the PlayStation itself last because I need to check all the games. For it. Then again, once I've got, what I do is when I'm looking at the games, I'll, um, if they're ones I'm gonna sell individually, I'll find a similar listing and I'll copy it and I'll just list. You get the option to sell similar or sell one, sell one of these. And that's what I'll do. I'll put it on cell one. And it'll copy a lot of the information in. And then all I've got to put in is the details I want to include in the description. And um, put my photos and my price in. And that's all, all I have to do then. Um, which is cool. So it makes it easier. So it'll be quite easy to get those games done. So what I'll start doing now is checking them. Well, they all work. Check them. We've um, checked the games work. And so what all we'll do now, there we go, we've done that bit, is um, I'll go through, I'll get the games. And I'm just going to have a look. I'm going to have a grey sky, but I also need to have grey clouds. So I think I'll use a dark grey for the clouds and a light grey for the sky. But we'll start doing that. I've got that little bird to do as well. Um, so we're going to do the clouds now in this very dark grey, which is actually 70% warm grey. Yeah, that's quite a nice colour actually. Yeah. So as I go checking them, if they're only worth one or two quid, I'll bundle them with a PS1. If they're worth eight or nine, five or six, then I'll list them individually. And I'll just copy a listing that I find on eBay. That's the easiest way of doing it. So all I've got to do then is put in my own description on gameplay is fine uh, desk, disc is clean see the photographs any questions please ask I always put that in and then add the photos and it's just a question of play placing it live I've got everything on 10 day dispatch even though I'm sending it off quicker than that and the only reason I've got it on 10 day dispatch is because the post office is overwhelmed at the moment. They've got a lot of people off sick. Um, things are getting through. I have had feedback on items that I've just listed or I've just sold and sent off. And they were sent off like a few days ago or last week. And they've got through. So I'm not worrying too much. I've only ever had one item touch wood and whistle go missing via the post office. And I've been selling on eBay since October 2018. Okay, I'm not a big big time seller. I don't sell thousands of thousands of pounds with a product a year. Um, last year, I think I made £1,700 profit. I do it as a hobby and as a bit of pin money for holidays and for my savings account. The idea is that I will increase it as time goes on so that if necessary, I can leave my job if I want to. But at the moment, I'm quite happy where I am. It's a decent salary. I get paid every month on the last working day. And the reason we get paid on the last working day every month, so if it's a Friday, you get paid on Friday. If it's a Monday, you get paid on Monday and so on. <coughs> is that that way you get paid exactly the same amount every month, regardless of how many days are in the month. Unless, of course, you do overtime. Obviously, I don't do overtime. Though they have been asking people if they want to cancel their holidays due to the situation. I'm thinking, why would I? It's, it's so quiet at the moment. My next holiday is um, at the end of May. And I'm dreading surviving that long without a day off because it's quite quiet. Because, obviously, things aren't normal. And... But I've, only, I've got two days off then at the end of May um, across the bank holiday. So we've got a bank holiday at the end of May and I've got the Friday and the Tuesday off. 
So we'll be off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then back in on Wednesday. So it'll be nice short. I reached my 30 minutes. So after the end, after the bank holiday weekend, when I've got the Monday and the, the Tuesday off, my next holiday then is not until the end of June. And that's normally when we go away on holiday. So obviously we don't know whether that's happening at the moment. It's all paid for. They'll either reschedule or refund if they can't let it go ahead. Um, like everybody, the company are reviewing the situation. It's a holiday in this country as well. So if some of the restrictions listed, lifted, <clears throat> it may be able to go ahead. It just depends. We'll have to wait and see. I'm not worried either way. I'm still keeping my week off, even if they, they ask us to reschedule. I'm not bothered. And then the next one after that, my next holiday, if that's October. But I still got enough holiday left to book odd days here and there. And nobody knows what's going to be happening in the next few weeks. Lockdown is for another three weeks. Of course. And then they're reviewing it. They'll review it at the end of that three weeks. So we'll have to wait and see. I can see it going on for another three weeks after that myself, personally. But uh, that's just because they don't want a second wave. And I think we'd be better off erring on the side of caution. And if that means locking down until the end of July, that means locking down to the end of July to ensure that it's safe. But they're talking about pubs not reopening until Christmas. The elderly being isolated for 18 months. Nobody's going to stand that. I mean, my dad, he'll be 80 in December. And I'll admit, I'm terrified of losing him. He's fitter than I am. But he's still going to be 80. It'll be the worst day of my life when him and my mum go. And I'm not going to lie. But I know they will. It's going to happen. Nobody lives forever. Thankfully, I've got... Paul and I've got Jennifer. If I didn't have them, I don't know what I'd do. Um, but yeah, that's a nice grey as well. My dad goes for a walk every day. My mum's still laid up with her ankle. It is getting better, but it's still painful to put her weight on. Of course, they she. They won't let her go to hospital because of what's going on, which is fair enough. And in fact, she was told not to go. Um, but I've ordered her an ankle support, so that's going to them on the weekend. It should, they should get it on Saturday, I think. And hopefully that will... Um, sort them out, uh, sort help, help her put some weight on it. She's putting a bit of weight on it. I think she's more afraid than she needs to be. Um, but of course my dad being his age really wouldn't be able to support her full weight on his own if I was there yes it would be a little bit different I could um, I could help him with her if I was there but obviously I can't be there because of this so I'm going to do this as like a little robin. So I'm going to give him a little red breast there. Because I like robins. And that's a good thing with colouring. You can do whatever you want. Where did I get this from? I thought it came off the end there. Um, I, do you know what? I can't see where it came from. I'm sure it came from the end. It did. It's just gone so flat. I can't get the pencil back. There we are. Oh dear, it's getting hot. So yeah, I can't, I can't be there to, to help him, which I would prefer, I would like to be. You know, if I was there, he'd go one side, I'd go the other, and she could put her weight on both of us and we could hold her up a bit. But yeah, it's worrying. Like I said, I've ordered her a, a foot, an ankle support, so hopefully that will help and uh, make her feel better. God, it's warm in here. We had the heating on it because it went really chilly tonight. 
and I said to Paul, because Paul said he was cold, I said, well, just put it on for half an hour, take the chill off before bed. And I am, I am baking hot. It's not good. I'm not good in the heat, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm not a... I'm not a sun worshipper at all. Like most of my friends, they're like, oh, it's sunny, great, let's get out. I'm like, no. Nah. You coming out and sit in the pub garden? No, not really. Why not? I just don't do the sun. I'll do the um, raindrops later. We'll just start on the uh, back here. We're all right, we've got 35 minutes. It won't take long. I will probably finish this off, I think. Which means I'll find something new to start for our next one. Like I said, I've got plenty of pictures picked out to colour. So that's really good. And I might even give you an option in a minute to see what book you want to colour in. So once we finish this, I mean, this is very light and you probably can't actually see, oh, you can a little bit, the grey going down. What I'll do is we'll finish this off because we've only got the sky, the leaves on the edge and the, the drops to do, the raindrops. So, I'll pull a couple of books after I've shown you what we've finished, what it looks like. And you can help me decide what to do because I can't, I can't say what I'm going to be filming next. So we've probably got plenty of time for it. I am really enjoying this, it's so relaxing and of course I'm not looking at a screen so normally before bed I've got the TV on and it takes me a while to wind down so no screen, just colouring and then I can put this on to, I probably won't put anything live on eBay now tonight, I'll do it first thing in the morning, it's ready to go but I don't really want to do anything on the computer I also want to go to bed and chill. I'm looking forward to it. I'm tired. So, yeah, it won't take long to finish this. And then I'll show you the pictures I've got picked out that I want to colour. Other than the Kirby Rosanias, which I won't do on camera because I like I'm just going to do that in bits and it might take me a couple of months to do it. It might not. I might get so well into it that I want to finish it and I just go, I blast through it, but it's all about doing different things, isn't it? And Excuse me sniffling. So. Yeah, it's going to take a little while this the, the sky. I'm going as fast as I can on it. Maybe I'll finish the sky off. Off camera. But I do like to finish things on camera so you can see the full finished picture. Obviously you'll see it again in uh, April's completed pages which will be up at the beginning of May because I always wait till after the month is over so that if I finish a picture on the last day of the month I can include it. Now okay if I'm doing something that I know is gonna, I've only got one going and I know it's gonna roll over into the next month I might do it actually on the last day but if I've got something that's near completion I will actually really try and finish it so that it can be included. I'm not one that likes to have a lot of whips. I have got some whips that I really want to to finish and they're all ones that I've used water mediums on so I, I you know it's not often I get those out to use so I really want to do those. So 
I need to um my idea was that when I did the background for the Kirby Renaissance book, I think it's Imagimorphia I've brought, yeah it is. I thought what I'll do is I'll do the background on that and then I'll get out the ink tents and finish the, I think it's the title page for Enchanted Forest. I've nearly finished it. And I'll finish that off with the doing ink tents because that's what I've been using. And I thought, and I've got that picture within uh, World of Flowers that I started on camera that I've never finished using the W. Smith's watercolour pencils. So I thought, do you know what? I'll get them out and I'll finish that off as well. But as of yet, I haven't had time. Because of, well... I'm colouring so many other things, so I need to do that because that would be two finishes, really easy, really easy finishes for me if I could just get them done because they're nearly done. The, the Enchanted Forest nameplate definitely is nearly done. I need to check World of Flowers, but I don't think there's much in that to be done, to be honest. And my thought was, what I'll do is I'll get the pencils out on that one, I'll just colour the picture in. And then after I've coloured the entire picture in, I'll just activate it. So I'll do the, the pencil work first and then I'll just get the water brush and, and just go round right to left, because I'm left-handed, activating the watercolours on the page. So I wouldn't even need to have the water out straight away. I could finish that at any time. And in fact, I might. I might actually... If I finish with morph, do it like that. I've got a little bit down this side to do, which I'm going to do last. And that's just simply because it's right on the edge and I need to turn the page. Mm. That Hardy's wine is absolutely gorgeous. I don't often drink wine. It's not very often. I drink alcohol, to be honest. I, I like a drink, but I can take it or leave it. But... Uh, Paul went to the post office today to get my, to drop my post off and to buy some bread and a few essential items. And I said, oh, if you remember, Paul, get me a bottle of rosé wine. And he was like, all right, if I remember, I'll, I'll get you some. I'll have a look. And he came back with a bottle of Hardy. It's only £5, so I mean, it wasn't expensive. And, oh, my life, it is absolutely gorgeous. I am not going to lie. It's one of the nicest rosés I've had in a long time. Okay. Yes, I'm afraid it's not a very nice day where our lovely sunny lady is. It's very grey. You can't really see the grey car. I'm sweating. Oh, I can't wait to have a shower, which I'll do in the morning when I get up. Hopefully I'll sleep tonight. Some nights I don't sleep very well. I'm hoping tonight I will. I could use a really good sleep. I slept well last night and the night before though, to be honest, so. Usually the nights I don't sleep well is when Jen decides that she wants to wake up at a silly o'clock, like, 4 a.m. or midnight and she decides yeah now it's time to get up and play and I'm like no Jennifer it's still time to sleep and she's like no and it takes me ages to get her back off and I literally have to go downstairs because she knows I'm upstairs in any of the rooms she will kick off until I go and sort her out she knows me she knows how to play me I'll tell you if I come downstairs Make a cup of tea, put telly on, watch a bit of YouTube. I, uh, she will actually go back to sleep a bit, but it usually takes her a good hour and a half. So I'm, I'm a dopey, dopey, dozing up on the sofa, sitting in the recliner, but it's not comfortable enough for me to actually go to sleep in. Properly, I get a cricky neck. And then I wake up and I'm like, oh, I'll go upstairs now. And if I'm lucky, she's asleep. Sometimes I go up and she's still there waking, waiting for me to come up the stairs. She's a little bugger sometimes. 
because she really is. Anyway, so I had an email from my brother. He lives in Auckland, New Zealand, and he works for the airlines. So he works in computers. So his job at the moment is okay. Um, they are laying off staff. Sadly, like most places, they just can't afford to keep them on with their no money coming in. Um, fortunately, what he does is computer IT stuff. In fact, he helps set up their loyalty card program. And uh, yeah, so he <coughs> I think his job's all right for the next six months. Um, I think if the worst happens, he said he would come, probably look for work in the UK and maybe maybe come home. But uh, at the moment, he's okay. But he said, "I hope you're not too bored." I said, Paul, "I said to, to said to him, hi Chris, we're all fine. Um, I've only just seen your message. Um, I don't let myself get bored. I'm I'm working every morning, and then I'm playing with Jennifer." I'm colouring, I'm reading, I'm watching documentaries on YouTube, I'm doing bits of eBay. I do not have time to be bored. I will not let myself be bored. Um, there's too much I want to do, even if it's just watching a documentary on ancient Egypt, which I love. Mm. So we want a blue for the raindrops we'll use this one and I'm just grabbing random colors now <laughs> um, but yeah I won't I won't be bored there's too much to learn about so I've, I've watched documentaries on ancient Egypt on Pompeii and Herculaneum and um, what else have I watched oh I watch all sorts a lot of it is ancient history because that's what I'm, I really am interested in ancient history and history in general World War Two, World War One anything so I don't have time to get bored and there are two sayings that sum it up for me the first one is Zelda Fitzgerald who was the wife of F. Scott Fitzgerald the novelist who wrote The Great Gatsby and she said she refused to be bored simply because she wasn't boring and the other one is from Terry Pratchett's Hogfather. This particular quote is from the TV version, so it's from the screen adaptation. Excuse me, slip my wine. The book quote is slightly different, but it says the same. And that saying is, humans are so interested, and basically this is death. The character of death, just say why I'm saying calling humans. Death is a character. If you haven't read Terry Pratchett's Discworld, he's a recurring character. Um, he's an amorphic personification. Um, and this is where Hogfather is a book about um, the Discworld's version of Christmas called Hog's Watch. And people have stopped believing in the Hogfather and he's disappeared. So death has taken over, basically. And he's doing what the Hogfather does, trying to make the children believe in, in the Hogfather so that the Hogfather doesn't disappear. Anyway, that's enough background. Go and read the book, it's brilliant. And basically what he says, <coughs> and it is true, and, and the quote from the TV adaptation is, humans are so interesting in a universe filled with wonders, they invented boredom. And I live my life by those two sayings. I am not a boring person. Though I'm sure people think I am because I'm constantly wanting to learn and I'm full of useless trivia. And the universe is filled with endless wonders, whether it's other planets and space or history, geography, the natural world. The universe is filled with wonders. There's not enough time to be bored. I'm not saying that, um, I'm not one of those people who say, oh, if you don't come out of this lockdown, having not learned a new skill, you, 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 it's not that you haven't got the time, it's just that you're lazy and all that rubbish. I don't believe that because it's hard enough to, to cope with what's going on without worrying about learning new things and coming out with new skills. 
but I won't let myself be bored, which it would be easy to do. I know people have said to me, you do so much, you, your life is so full. And there was a time when I did colouring, I made videos, I read books, I watched documentaries and I did theatre three nights a week as well. It was, and I work, <laughs> it was even more full. I wasn't doing the eBay then, so. But I like, it's not that I'm afraid of being bored and having nothing to do, I can quite happily just sit there and relax um, in silence or just have some music on and just sit there and listen to some music quite easily. But I also don't see the point in being bored. It would get too tedious too quickly. So I work, I colour, I do my eBay, not as much as I should be, but I'm doing it. I read books. I read a book in one day. The other day, it was a brand new one and I'd been waiting for it to come out. And it was the new Jodie Taylor Chronicles of St Mary's, which is always a quick read for me because I can't wait for them to come out so I can read them. Um, I watched a film last, was it last night or the night before? Well, we watched a film the other night. It was two hours. We watched City of God, which is a Brazilian film with subtitles. Good film. Enjoyed it. <coughs> I watch documentaries when I can. I play with Jennifer. I colour. On top of that, I do bits of housework, the washing. Paul does the washing up because I cook the tea. I'm not going to get in there and do all those. It's too tight against the spine. So I'll just do what I can. We're nearly finished. Which is good because we're probably nearly on an hour, aren't we? How long are we at? Oh yeah, we're on uh, 51 minutes. And I'll show you what pictures I've got picked out. I'm just going to turn this this way so I can uh, crack in on these. There we go, that's a bit better, isn't it? I can get in there a bit better now. So yeah, I mean, and there's nothing against people who are bored. If if that's how, how they are, that's how they are. But it's not for me. I don't want to be the one person saying I'm bored. There's too much to be done. If I got bored, I'd go and clean the kitchen <coughs> or the bathroom. Or, who, or I always call it hoovering the grass or I'd cut the grass. There's, there's too much stuff to be done to be bored. It's boring jobs, but they still stop you from being bored yourself. So we finished, finally. Here she is. I enjoyed this picture. I hope you've enjoyed it too. Let me know what you think of her. I'm just gonna find the books I've got. Uh, they're not in that one, but that one has. Um, pictures uh, marked out in. And there's one in that one as well. Some of these are new and um, some of these aren't. So I'll show you them. So that was this picture. I hope you've enjoyed this one. That was done with Prismacolor. So these are the pictures I've got picked out that I also want to do this month or next month. Jade Summers, Fairies Grayscale. I think I'm on the way out, aren't I? Yeah. All right. On that one, I have chosen this picture to do. I've got a thing about moons. So this one will be markers, obviously, because it's the grayscale. So it'll be the RTZ F blends, possibly with a few touch, touch five, touch new markers. So that's picture one. Picture two is from Gothic Fairies, Karen Heaven. I've done a few in this one already and I'm really liking the book. And I've picked this one, which is Cassandra. This could be either markers or pencils. You decide if you want this one. So that's picture two. Picture three is a book I haven't coloured in, which is Colour in Heaven's Mermaid Special. This is Selena Fennec, who I love. And I've picked The Pearl Princess. Again, pencils or markers. I'm going to be quick because my battery's running out. And the last one again is Jade Summer Grayscale Unicorns. I've picked The Unicorn and the Princess. So that's picture four. So if you want to see me colour one of those four pictures, let me know which one down in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And hit the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.